Our electronic production has grown six times in the last 11 years. In our Bangalore, Namma Bangalore, Devanalli is becoming a major iPhone manufacturing hub. India has become the top smartphone supplier to which country? To USA, overtaking all other countries. Our electronics production has grown six times in the last 11 years. In our Bangalore, Namma Bangalore, Devanalli is becoming a major iPhone manufacturing hub. India has become the top smartphone supplier to which country? To USA, overtaking all other countries. Today, there are six semiconductor plants under construction. Very soon, we'll see the first made in India chip. In 2014, India was called a fragile economy. Today, India is considered as a bright spot in a world filled with uncertainty. I will share the details of transformation in two sectors, electronics and railways. First, electronics sector. Our electronics production has grown six times in the last 11 years. Today, electronics manufacturing has touched 12 lakh crore rupees. Electronics exports has gone up eight times. 11 years ago, nobody could think that we will be exporting electronics. Today, it has crossed 3 lakh crore rupees. <laughs> India has become second largest manufacturer of mobile phones in the world. And now, in our Bangalore, Namma Bangalore, Devanalli is becoming a major iPhone manufacturing hub. India has become the top smartphone supplier to which country? To USA, overtaking all other countries. Friends, AI is shaping our world today. Our Prime Minister's vision is of democratizing technology. It should be accessible to all. It should not be within the limits of a few. It should be available to all. That's why we have done India AI mission in which 34,000 GPUs are today available as a common compute facility for all our innovators. And I'm, I know that Bangalore is making the maximum use of it. The price of these GPU is just less than $1 per hour. And this is the most affordable compute, common compute facility in the entire world. Friends, Bangalore-based startup Sarvam is working on our own LLM, trained on Indian data, free from biases, understanding multilingual diversity of our country. One more dream has come true. A dream of having our own semiconductor industry. This has also materialized after 60 years. Mr. Narayan Murthy sir is here. We all used to dream and this has been made possible only because our Prime Minister's laser sharp focus very clear guidance. Today, there are six semiconductor plants under construction in our country. And very soon, we'll see the first made-in-India chip roll out of these factories.